First tonight, no break for firefighters as they dealt with two more brush fires this afternoon, one in Gloucester and another in Smithfield. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Shannon Heggie. I'm Mike Montecalvo. Those fires followed a big one in Cranston overnight. To give you an idea just how high the risk is, there have been at least 10 brush fires across Rhode Island just in the last week. Sheena Loshido joins us live from Gloucester and tells us what firefighters have been dealing with today. Sheena. And today really was proof of the message that fire officials continue telling us it really does not take much to spark a disaster. In front of the Chapachet Fire Station, you'll find this sign, a reminder to Rhode Islanders the extremely dry conditions continue. Today, some fire crews responded to not one, but two brush fires. This was the scene off of Blackington Drive off of Putnam Pike in Gloucester Tuesday. Harmony's fire chief says the homeowner's wood furnace sparked a fire in his backyard, and it did not take much for that to spread and flames to break out, citing the dry conditions. The fire chief says that man did the right thing, calling for help right away. Before that fire, several departments, including Harmony, were also called to a separate fire off of Burlingame Road in Smithfield. There, we saw crews go far into the woods where officials say about two acres burned. These two fires follow the massive brush fire we saw in Cranston overnight, the scene off of Natick Avenue along 295. Cranston's fire chief says crews successfully kept the flames away from homes. Mulch piles also burned there, and investigators continue looking into where and how that fire started. And thankfully, with all of these fires, we're told everyone is okay. Reporting live in Gloucester tonight, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.